Hello, I'm Aruna and welcome to Target Yoga. You don't need to be super flexible in order to do today's poses for lower back pain and sciatica. They're fairly easy and simple to do, but they are effective at stretching and strengthening the lower back and releasing tension from the hips. Practice these once a day for maximum benefit. Remember, it's tender loving care today, so keep the movements extra gentle and well within your body's limits and abilities. Let's start. Abdominal breathing. Lie on your back with your knees bent and feet resting on the mat. Remove your spectacles. Place your palms by your sides and lightly touch your thumb and your forefinger. Close your eyes and your mouth. Inhale deeply through your nostrils and focus on the expansion of the abdomen as you do so. The chest should not move. Hold your breath. Now exhale through your nostrils and focus on the abdomen contracting as you do so without moving the chest. Hold. Inhale and expand the abdomen. Hold. Exhale and contract the abdomen. Hold. Inhale and expand the abdomen. Hold. Exhale and contract the abdomen. Hold. Open your eyes and relax. For the first pose, gently roll to your front using your arms to support the body. Come to all fours and sit on your heels. Downward Facing Dog Pose Kneel on all fours, hands below the shoulders and knees below the hips. Move your palms forward a few inches and spread the fingers wide. Rotate your upper arms downwards to maintain distance between your shoulders and your ears. Tuck your toes under and draw your navel to the spine. Inhale, exhale and lift the knees up a little and lengthen the spine by lifting the hips back and up towards the ceiling whilst balancing on your toes. Keep your knees bent and breathe normally. Your head should be in a neutral position in between your arms. Slowly straighten your left leg, stretching your heel to the floor, keeping your right leg bent. Then release the stretch and bend the left leg while straightening the right leg. Repeat a few times. Now draw the thighs back and straighten both legs, stretching the heels down. Bearing in mind, it is not essential to have the heels on the ground. Your body should resemble an inverted V, one line from palms to hips and another from hips to feet. Hold this position for a while, breathing normally. Feel the stretch, feel the space in your expanded chest and feel the length in your torso. Concentrate on keeping the back straight and not curved. It is more important to keep the length in the spine. So if you have tight hamstrings and find that you are rounding the back, bend your knees slightly. To release the pose, inhale and slowly lower your knees to the floor and come back to all fours. Bring your knees and your toes together, sit back on your heels, and relax. Child's Pose Kneel on the floor. Your knees and toes should touch but your heels should be apart so as not to place excessive pressure on the ankles. Bend forwards resting your body on your thighs and slide your palms forwards to a comfortable distance making sure your bottom is resting on your heels. 
Your palms, forearms and forehead should be resting on the floor. Close your eyes, relax and breathe normally. Remain in this position for a while. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly slide your palms back to your body and straighten your body to its original position. Relax. Sphinx Pose. Lie on your front with your forehead on the ground, your legs slightly apart, toes pointing away and your arms by your sides. Press the tops of your feet to the floor and point the toes behind you. Raise your head and place your elbows below your shoulder and your forearms on the floor parallel to each other. If this is not comfortable, move your forearms forwards until you are comfortable. Inhale, press your forearms into the floor and lift your head, chest and upper abdomen off the floor. Press your pubic bone to the floor. Drop your shoulders down and back and draw your chest forward. Elongate your neck and lengthen your tailbone towards your heels. The object is to lengthen your spine, so do not force yourself into a deeper back bend. Instead, extend your spine and lift it. Breathe deeply. Feel the lower back rise on each inhalation and drop on each exhalation. This alone stretches the muscles surrounding the spine and increases space within the vertebrae reducing back pain. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale and slowly reverse the stretch, bringing your forehead to the floor. Bring your arms to your sides, turn your head to one side and relax. Remain in this position for the next pose. Half Locust Pose Variation Lie on your front with the forehead on the floor. Stretch both arms in front of you, palm down, keeping them parallel to each other. Keep the legs extended, stretch the tops of the feet on the floor and keep the thigh muscles engaged. Feel the stretch throughout the body. Inhale, raise the left leg keeping the pelvis on the floor. A grounded pelvis isolates the leg and the back muscles which are being used. Keep the legs straight and the toes pointed. Hold for six counts. Exhale and lower your leg down to the floor. Repeat with the other leg. Inhale, raise the right leg, keeping the pelvis on the floor, keeping the legs straight and toes pointed. Hold. Exhale and slowly lower the leg. We will repeat twice more. Inhale, raise the left leg, keeping the pelvis on the floor, Keep the legs straight and toes pointed. Hold. Exhale and slowly lower the leg. Inhale, raise the right leg, keeping the pelvis on the floor, the legs straight and toes pointed. Hold. Exhale and slowly lower the leg. Inhale. Raise the left leg, keeping the pelvis on the floor, the legs straight and toes pointed. Hold. Exhale and slowly lower the leg. Inhale, raise the right leg, keeping the pelvis on the floor, the legs straight and toes pointed. Hold. Exhale and slowly lower the leg. 
Bring your arms to your sides, turn your head to the side and relax. Bridge pose. Lie on your back with your arms by your side and legs together. Bend your knees and place the feet on the floor parallel to each other, a hip distance apart with the knees and heels aligned. Inhale, squeeze the glutes a little and raise your bottom off the floor, followed by the lower back, mid back and upper back. Roll the shoulders back to broaden the chest. Be careful not to flatten the neck into the floor. Keep your thighs parallel to each other. Hold your breath and position for a count of six. Exhale and release the pose slowly by lowering your upper back, then the mid back, followed by the lower back and bottom to the floor. Repeat twice more. Inhale, squeeze the glutes a little and raise your bottom off the floor, followed by the lower back, mid back and upper back. Roll the shoulders back to broaden the chest. Be careful not to flatten the neck into the floor. Hold your breath and position for a count of six. Exhale and release the pose slowly by lowering your upper back, then the mid back, followed by the lower back and bottom to the floor. Inhale, squeeze the glutes a little and raise your bottom off the floor, followed by the lower back, mid back and upper back. Roll the shoulders back to broaden the chest. Be careful not to flatten the neck into the floor. Hold your breath and position for a count of six. Exhale and release the pose slowly by lowering your upper back, then the mid back, followed by the lower back and bottom to the floor. Relax. Remain in this position for the next pose. Supine Pigeon Pose Begin by lying on your back with your feet together and hands by your sides. Bend your knees and place your feet on the floor. Inhale and cross your left ankle and rest it on your right thigh. Relax the left knee so it turns away from your torso. Exhale and very slowly lift your right foot off the floor, thread your left arm through your legs and interlace your hands behind your right thigh. Using your arms, draw your right leg gently towards your chest. Keep your head and shoulders on the floor. Feel the sensation as the tension in your hips melts away. Remain in this position for a while. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale and release the stretch, bringing your right foot back to the floor and uncross your left leg. Repeat with the other leg. Inhale and cross your right ankle and rest it on your left thigh. Relax the right knee so it turns away from your torso. Exhale and very slowly lift your left foot off the floor. Thread your right arm through your legs and interlace your hands behind your left thigh. Using your arms, draw your left leg gently towards your chest. Keep your head and shoulders on the floor. Remain in this position for a while. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. 
exhale and release the stretch bringing your left foot back to the floor and uncross your right leg straighten your legs and relax remain in this position for the next pose half wind relieving pose lie on your back with your arms by your sides and your feet together draw your left knee up towards your chest and clasp your arms around the shin of the leg. Leave the right leg outstretched or bend the knee and place the foot on the floor if you need to. Inhale and gently draw the leg closer towards the chest. Keep the movement relaxed and not forced. Hold your breath and the position for six counts. Exhale and release the hold, lowering your leg back to the floor. Repeat with the right leg. Draw your right knee up towards your chest and clasp your arms around the shin of the leg. Leave the left leg out stretch or bend the knee and place the foot on the floor if you need to. Inhale and gently draw the leg closer towards the chest. Keep the movement relaxed and not forced. Hold your breath and position for six counts. Exhale and release the hold, lowering your leg back to the floor. Repeat two more sets. Draw your left knee up towards your chest and clasp your arms around the shin of the leg. Inhale and gently draw the leg closer towards the chest. Hold your breath and the position for six counts. Exhale and release the hold, lowering your leg back to the floor. Draw your right knee up towards your chest and clasp your arms around the shin of the leg. Inhale and gently draw the leg closer towards the chest. Hold your breath and position for six counts. Exhale and release the hold, lowering your leg back to the floor. Draw your left knee up towards your chest and clasp your arms around the shin of the leg. Inhale and gently draw the leg closer towards the chest. Hold your breath and the position for six counts. Exhale and release the hold, lowering your leg back to the floor. Draw your right knee up towards your chest and clasp your arms around the shin of the leg. Inhale and gently draw the leg closer towards the chest. Hold your breath and position for six counts. Exhale and release the hold. Relax. Place both feet on the floor. Turn your body to the side that doesn't hurt. Place the palm of your top arm on the floor near your navel. Extend your other arm to shoulder level and gently use both your arms to push your body up into a sitting position. Sit on your heels for the next pose. Cat Pose Begin on your hands and knees, hands under the shoulders and knees under the hips. The head should be in a neutral position. Inhale, tilt the tailbone and your pelvis up and let the belly drop down towards the floor. Look up at the ceiling and stretch gently. Hold for six counts. As you exhale, reverse the spinal bend, tilting the pelvis down and drawing the spine up and the navel towards the spine. Drop your head and look at your navel. Keep the movement fluid at all times. Repeat twice more. Inhale, tilt the tailbone and your pelvis up, let the belly drop down, look up at the ceiling and stretch gently. Hold. Exhale, reverse the spinal bend, tilt the pelvis down, drawing the spine up 
and the navel towards the spine. Drop your head and look at your navel. Hold. Inhale, tilt the tailbone and your pelvis up. Drop the belly down. Look up at the ceiling and stretch gently. Hold. Exhale, reverse the spinal bend, tilting the pelvis down, drawing the spine up and the navel towards the spine. Drop your head and look at your navel. Slowly come back to the starting position. Bring your knees and toes together, sit back on your heels and relax. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please subscribe and share with those who might benefit from it. I'll see you soon. Take care. Namaste.